Hello and welcome to Lord Fenton Gaming Plays Lego DC Super Villains. I'm your villain Lord Fenton. In today's uh, video, we are doing the fourth level story, which is a uh, Arma Ghetto Superstar. That will be the 19th mission, I believe. So so far, so good. These uh, level stories are quicker than the story ones, and also gives you a nice insight on the uh, fate of the Justice League members trapped in the apocalypse. Like I said before. Still, it's pretty cool though, and it has some comic value too. So now you follow the Joker symbol. Looks like some kind of ball. I think I was destroying stuff at the time of this recording. No, it's around the area of the ball. Okay, there we go. It's it's uh by this uh, skull like thing. Yeah, that's the entrance to the story right there. So let's get to the comic that Lobo is hosting. Glutton for punishment, eh? Either that or you just can't keep away because of my animal magnetism. So back with the space chumps. They managed to get the band back together. They figured that's the most likely place to get any answers as to why they're here. So the super friends were gonna need some serious firepower to knock a hole in that thing. My kind of logic. Man, now that's what I'm talking about. Sure, it's surrounded by space dogs and needs juicing up. But that's where all the fun's at. As ever, the flying mouse got a plan. Beats me where he got his blackboard from. He wants those three to get that mega cannon juiced up without waking up that monocle fruitcake in his pets. My money's on the doggies. I'd love to see him use fish guys at Chew Toy. <laughs> So-called heroes are around here somewhere. I know it! Okay, see that broken cannon over there? We gotta try and figure out a way to repair it without giving away our position. You got it, Lantern. Sheesh. This place sure could use a Well, look like Mr. Furman Wundabar is back. This time we have is uh, Cyborg, Aquaman, and the uh, Green Lantern on our team. Well, like I said before, I would rather trade up this Aquaman for the movie version. He was more, uh, you know, much, much better. Still, you could use this Aquaman's ability to uh, cool down the fire and get rid of it. Because we're going to need to do something with that stack. Yep, that's right. We're going to build something with it. Let's see what we are going to build this time. Look like it's Green Lantern symbol this time, or a Lantern symbol. No red one, unfortunately. Unless you get atrocious uh, enough exploring the world. So you go right there and use the green lantern. Let's see what's up. Stay right! What? What was that? Ah, it's them! It's them! Quickly, attack! Alright, that's one cannon down. Now we're going to build something else. Or not, due to the fact these uh, paradigms are attacking us. Yeah, they are mad because uh, they got beaten in Justice League. Now they're going to be beaten in this game. So in all, if you're a parademon, well, it sucks to be you. <laughs> oh god, that weight ton uh, ground smash by the Green Lantern is cool. Still, you're going to need to build that center because we have to do something with it. So, look like we are repairing the can again for something else nice. So let's see. <laughs> Well, we know where those uh, dogs came from, from uh, Seven Wolves Surprise, and it's right here on Apocalypse. So, that's what we know so far. Now we have to contend with them. Besides with the uh, Parademons. Yeah, I think you can't really destroy them, you just need to lure them and such. However, we're going to explore a little bit to see uh, where we could be able to destroy them. This is also a great area for uh, free play because... Um, Number one, there's a graffiti thing right there. Number two, you can also uh, do picture perfect with a villain. And number three, there's the dog dish right there. I'm going to try to destroy. And let's see what's up. Okay, that must be for a free play thing, too. So we'll uh, remember that next time. There's also a grate over there. I don't think I can do anything with it. Still, it's a good idea to always explore your uh, surroundings because you may never know what you're going to find. Alright, so we're gonna still destroy more of those. 
and right there we can't get to it. I don't think. No, we need the uh, Joker for that. All right, see what's in here. That is nothing. Up there is very interesting, though. We should uh, get up there. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to use a uh, cyborg's uh, flight. Yep, it's gonna be awesome. Green Lantern can do it too. However, we're gonna need uh, Aquaman to get up here. So now this is probably a two-parter. We're gonna need Aquaman to get up there to take out the fire, since he has the power of the oceans in his hands or trident. Sorry, most like power of the uh, ocean is trident. Okay, that is done. We need Cyborg now to uh, figure things out. We'll use this X-ray to solve the uh, puzzle. So here we go on solving it. So that puzzle is now officially saw parts of it and we still have to deal with the dog. And now we just gotta keep on moving and see where that dog is at. We might have to deal with him or not. Let's see what's up. Alright. Yeah, look like so far so good. Still exploring the surroundings. Destroying everything in sight. Which is pretty cool. That's what's good about these Lego games. Sometimes you go explore and then lose yourself in it sometimes. Good times. Now I'm going to switch to Green Lantern and see what's up with that. I think that's another one of those uh, things you blow up with. We'll switch to uh, Cyborg and see what's up. It right, looks like that's a cart and we might do something with that. That's a doghouse so we need to uh, probably use that for the solution. Maybe, maybe not. Alright, the dog is charging again. We just gotta get out of the way. And that dog is somewhat invulnerable and such. So we need to figure out how to lure the dog somewhere. Alright, I see a hook there maybe. Nope, he has a shield, Green Lantern. That's pretty good to know. Alright, we can't use that, I don't think, unfortunately. Well, that was a good idea though, is that. And so we're going to explore a bit more and see what's up. So we're going to explore some more and see what's up. And let's see here. Okay, that's a free play uh, device right there. Neither of the three have any uh, mini remote control objects. Like cats, jarring teeth, and uh, batwing. Which is pretty cool. What we're going to do is defeat this dog. However, I think if you defeat the dog, no one will come. This will be a nice demonstration of that. So here we go. That took care of that beast. Now we can wait. There's another one. Now, because we defeat that dog, it opened up a new uh, path. Yeah, that is right. Look like we have to uh, do something with that doghouse. I'm gonna destroy this first. That did it. And then, and then let's see if we can build something out, out, out of it. Yep. Yeah, we'll see. We're gonna build. We are gonna build a nice train cart or something. So let's do that. Wait, are we really sure that dude's gonna fall for a fake replica of Granny Goodness? Granny Goodness, is that you? Quickly, stop attacking! Everyone, stop attacking! Huh, apparently so. I did it. Look like Mr. Voonabar is about to be distracted by Granny Goodness. Or at least a fake uh, picture of it. And it is working right now. Now because of that, uh, we uh, faked them out, we got access to a new area. Something tells me if we uh, didn't do that, uh, he would uh, shoot us or something. Or something very deadly. So we faked them out, so that's good. We use Aquaman to get rid of the uh, fire. Yes, we'll do that. Of course, sometimes you gotta get any closer to do that. Or wait for the Legos to disappear. Yep. Now we're gonna build something. I'm gonna use Cyborg again. And we build a nice uh, ramp to get across, and we have right there. Okay, we're gonna need Aquaman again to uh, throw his trident to get us over there. So we're gonna use Aquaman, and then okay, there's the mini kit for uh, destroying the doggy uh, dishes. I'll uh, remember that in a video in the future, so people will know where that's at. 
And unfortunately, we need to uh, get back up there due to the fact that uh, Aquaman didn't make it the first time. So you need to get Aquaman to that point over there, and then he'll uh, toss his trident and uh, get us going. Yes, he tossed the trident. Looked like we have to get way over there and do some uh, acrobats. So we're gonna do that, and when we get towards the end of that. While we swing, the lever will uh, go down, and here's the objective cutscene for the next part of the mission. Alright, this is very simple. We're going to use Cyborg's X-ray vision to solve the puzzle. And then after that, we'll uh, see another objective cutscene and see what's uh, going down next. Okay, that is looking good! Let's use it to blast our way in. Not so fast. We can't fire until it's charged. That's gonna take at least a moment or two. Excuse me, Granny. Are you still down there? I believe we may have... Wait, that is not Granny! Uh-oh. Oh, uh, sure it is. I just tripped over my favorite pet. God, God! All right, we're getting a step closer to being uh, Veer Man Wunderbar. Yeah, that's gonna be our objective, and then we gotta take out that giant laser. But, uh, I believe it's attacking. It's about to attack Earth, or it is attacking Earth. And we gotta stop that. Yes, apocalypse citizens are invading Earth. That's not a good thing, folks. Us Earthlings gotta stick together. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, there's a uh, Wunderbar. We're uh crashing him very badly. He's pretty easy though, he just shoots and that's all really. So what we just gotta do is defeat uh, Vundabar and then after we defeat him we get a nice photo op with him. And there we go, here's the next objective. Alright, Vundavar has been officially defeated, and we got a nice selfie with him. Well, not really a selfie, just a bragging photo. So, next part is a big old can right there we need to destroy. So, we need to look at the uh, power source now. I think it's that pillar there. I am sure of it. We need to do something with that. And looks like he's uh, flashing Vundavar still, so that's the good news. So now we need to do is look around the area. I think it's that pillar right there they showed right there to defeat it. And we'll destroy objects. See what's up with that. Of course. Ah, there is. We all have to do is just go up there and uh, I believe we have to do something to it. So once we do something to it, use it, we'll uh, end the uh, Lobo story. Ow! That's one way to ring the doorbell. Looks like Bats was onto something there. The only bad news is, Aqua Guy didn't get turned into fish sticks. I guess I should've figured that, given he made it off Apocalypse. That guy with the monocle will have some serious explaining to do to the real old granny when she finds out those goofs got past him and used that sweet cannon. That sure is a big gun. I wonder if I could borrow it. Look like we used that cannon on uh, Dark Side's uh, one of his buildings. Now Arma Ghetto Superstar is now officially complete and in the uh, books. So you should get cannons at the ready slash a trophy slash achievement slash demon achievement slash epic achievement or anything else. So that's the good news on that. Unfortunately, we did not get true villain. It happens you could get that on uh, free play. Now we only got one mini kit because we destroyed the uh, four uh, golden dog bowls. So that uh, counts for something. Fortunately no red brick happens. And no picture perfect. Again we didn't have the uh, Joker or uh, villain that has graffiti. And one gold brick which is fine. So now what we get is Veerman Vunabar to uh, purchase. Oh, well, we didn't get the uh, special character there in the level. It happens. Well, that's all the uh, time we have for uh, today's video. This is Lord Fenton signing off. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and it's good to be bad.